That vegan teacher is a TikTok influencer. <sighs> I hate that word so much. Who posts content promoting information about veganism, which sounds like a really good thing. Why not spread more information about vegan beliefs and keep people informed? I don't have an issue with that at all. However, that vegan teacher is anything but a non-controversial TikTok account spreading goodwill. From all the content I've seen from the vegan teacher, she promotes very hateful, almost downright offensive content, where she'll either attack other critters for their beliefs, which go against her own, in a very mean-spirited way, or downright send hate to another critter because she disagrees with them. It's... it's very weird. But the main issue people actually hold with her behaviour is when that behaviour involves people like content creator Tommy in it and George Not Found including the apparent sexualization of Tommy in it. It's a huge issue and a discussion is definitely warranted about this situation, because I believe this behaviour is unacceptable. Surprisingly though, this situation seems to have come to a close, because yesterday that vegan teacher was banned, and today I want to discuss why, because I feel like I have a lot of information which will explain exactly what happened, and maybe we can make a few light-hearted jokes in the meantime. Yes, Susan, <laughs> I'm not attacking anyone. Please don't take me down or give me that big yellow dollar sign. I, pr I promise I'm behaving. But before we continue, hi, I'm Harley TBS, a content creator with 12,200 subscribers, <laughs> which is insane. Thank you for the support. I've been a commentary creator for around a year now, and the support I've seen is incredible. However, I've decided to switch up my content a little. So if you want more videos like this one, I promise you'll see them. I used to post long form drama videos, however, I decided to switch to topic commentary because it's more fun and exciting, though I may make a few bigger videos in between, so if you're new to this channel or enjoy this type of content, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe. It'll help me reach my goal of 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I'd love to see you around. I also have a Discord which I'm constantly active in every day, with a fun and talented community for artists and or just general fun, so if you want to join, you can. And I also sold out and made a TikTok, where I have so far discussed how I somehow ended up in a dream stream to 300,000 people, which was kind of crazy. But let's get back into the video, so buckle your seatbelts, put on your Minecraft Steve heads and cosplay, and let's delve in to the depths of the vegan teacher iceberg. As I mentioned in the intro, that vegan teacher got banned from TikTok less than 24 hours ago as of recording this audio, and I believe I know the reason why, so let's go back a little. The vegan teacher has made controversial TikToks for a while now, from TikToks about how being gay is selfish, to attacking high profile influencers like Gordon Ramsay, and this one time she danced in front of her McDonald's. Three, two, one, sing! Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. It was a bit weird. It's a very interesting case though, because there's not much content like this on TikTok, so it was really hard to know how the platform would go about it, because as much as this content was definitely problematic, it was hard to conclusively claim it violated guidelines or warranted being taken down. That was until the vegan teacher started posting some controversial content involving the sexualization of 16 year old Minecraft YouTuber Tommy in it. And this is why I believe she got banned. The vegan teacher has posted a string of TikToks about Tommy from taking clips out of context from his TikTok videos to literally making sexual posts about Tommy. There's another video though that I feel definitely violated guidelines and probably put the vegan teacher on TikTok's radar. So. Before I discuss the Tommy TikToks further, I'd like to show you this incredibly toxic video made by the vegan teacher to George Not Found, in which she literally harasses him with no reason. I'm looking for some likes. Give me some likes, please. Am I missing something? You want likes for walking in the snow? How about you stop paying for the rape, torture and murder of innocent animals and be vegan? Then I'll like you. This clip is so bizarre and 100% violates TikTok guidelines on harassment, so I'm glad the TikTok has been taken down. Though TikTok doesn't ban accounts for one violation, and that's why I believe I can find two other TikToks that probably violate the guidelines. The first one being a TikTok duet where Tommy in it is in college, surrounded by, as he says, women, and the vegan teacher then duets him, saying that she'll find him a 
vegan girl that can teach him what to do with one of the creepiest winks I've ever seen. This joke is obviously intended to be sexual in nature and it's just disgusting. Tommy is 16 years old. This 52 year old lady should not be making these jokes about this kid. This is genuinely creepy and unacceptable behaviour from a grown adult. I believe this TikTok definitely had a part in her ban. So I'll play it now for you to hear it. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. However, the other TikTok she made about Tommy is the worst. It's a complete sexual joke packed with fruit and veg representing some, you know, bodily parts. I'll play you the clip, but it's pretty obvious on a surface level how wrong this is. I got two more golden play buttons today that I'm going to show to girls when they, if they come round. Because they, because they do. Tommy, the nice vegan girls don't want to see your buttons. But if you want them to play with your buttons, you're going to have to show them your fruits and your vegetables. Who telling a 16 year old boy to whip out his genitals to girls? Last I checked, that's sexualizing a minor. Smile for the camera. Chris Hansen will see you now. As you've seen, the vegan teacher is blatantly sexualizing Tommy here. And no matter what your stance on this is, it's obvious why this kind of post isn't allowed on the platform like TikTok. And I believe this is probably the reason why she was banned, which is quite funny because there's so many news articles speculating and none of them really come to any conclusion. It's kind of strange how under the radar and accepted this kind of thing is in the mainstream, when it really shouldn't be. However, she's now been banned, and although she's still got a YouTube, her platform is much smaller, and she's obviously not very good with, well, any device. So, I doubt we'll be seeing much content from her unless she evades her ban and creates a new TikTok account. So, I genuinely hope this is the end for the vegan teacher, and a better role model takes her place to share a more positive and less hateful message. Behaviour like the vegan teachers simply isn't okay. Well, I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a rant here, but I really just want to explain why I dislike this type of content from the vegan teacher, because this content is genuinely the worst type of way to spread the type of message she's trying to make, because she's doing it through hatred and attacks, which means the only people she'll appeal to is the toxic people, or the people who hate the influencer she's trying to tear down or use to spread her message. And whether her intentions are good or not, it's very clear that the effect this is having is extremely damaging to the message of veganism, especially towards a younger audience. She comes across like a lunatic attacking these kids' favourite creator, and because of it she's putting a negative stigma on veganism, when veganism is actually a good thing. Believing that animals and their lives are valuable is an admirable belief, and although you shouldn't tell people what to eat, I feel like it's good to spread information about your beliefs. But that's when you use the platform to properly share that belief. The vegan teacher just seems to constantly spread hatred while attempting to spread the message of veganism, and instead of the important message she's trying to spread, she's instead watering that down by all the people laughing at her and the kind of hatred that she's cultivating instead. However, that's where I'm gonna leave this video. Thanks for sticking with me through it, and please don't send hate to the vegan teacher or anyone else mentioned, and Thanks to my good friends Jaden and Pancho for their videos on The Vegan Teacher, they've been very informative and that's how I've kept up to date on this situation. If you're new to this channel, as mentioned in the intro, make sure to subscribe, I'm aiming for 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I'd really appreciate it if you could help out. I'm aiming to post more content like this more frequently, and I'd love to make more videos for you. I've always had a passion for this type of content, so I hope you enjoy it, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Or maybe even today if I double upload. See you soon. Peace. Says you wanna rock with it, let me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with it, let me. We can catch a fly. Says you wanna rock with it, let me.